Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, <clears throat> to shuffle the tarot cards. Oh my God. And uh, we can jump straight away to the spread. Okay, <clears throat> so the first card which represents the topic for Capricorn's week, that will be the Tree of Wands, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Capricorn needs to overcome for throughout the week, this is going to be the um, Ace of Swords. Furthermore, we do have the positive aspect of the week for Capricorn, that will be the Page of Cups. And then the last one that we have, it is the uh, Knight of Swords standing as a, a guidance that uh, Taro is offering for Capricorns. All right, so uh, once again, Tree of Wands is going to be uh, the topic, followed by the Ace of Swords, which is the challenge. Afterwards, we have the... Uh, page of cups which is the positive aspect and then lastly it is the knight of swords that stands for the guidance all right capricorn um well that week we are going to be pretty straightforward guys it looks like that's a big change is looming on the horizon and this week uh you will have to sort your things out before you actually can embark that change which is looming on the horizon Okay, so the week itself, uh, which is marked by the Tree of Wands here, uh, it is likely that you're going to sit on a, um, how can I describe it, uh, a solid patterns, you know, established projects, established relationships, for example, established achievements, if I may express it that way. So um, what you need to do throughout the week is secure on these establishments that uh, you already have achieved either into your career or either into your relationship. And then you got to challenge yourself. You got to challenge yourself with uh, either something new, you know, or just to provoke that um, these things uh, toward a bigger prospect or toward a bigger unfoldment because the tree of wands is a growth only through challenging oneself. No, no different than uh, accomplishing a task that requires from you to learn something new, you know, or to um, develop a, a new set of skills because doing the same thing over and over again, it's not growth, it's, it's re, uh, repeat, repeatance, if I may express it uh, <clears throat> that way. But with the Tree of Wands, it is very likely that for throughout the week, Capricorns, uh, the things are to develop exactly as you are expecting them to develop, so no surprises whatsoever is what the week is going to present you. The accompanied card here, that will be the Two of, uh, of Wands, and we definitely are talking about challenge here. Three of Wands and Two of Wands, passive supporters that we have, and um, 
the two of wands urges you to recognize that, yeah, you have accomplished a good achievement until this very moment, but now you need to start thinking of how you can improve those awesome skills you have, which helped you to uh, accomplish those achievements, like being with, being with a certain person into a relationship, like establishing private business, like, like uh, uh, how can I describe it? Um, finalizing a, a certain project and etc etc so the next card <clears throat> it is um, about the challenges that you will have to face throughout the week and overcome that is we have the ace of swords so the ace of swords stands as uh, realizing the accuracy of the situation or what the situation truly is now <clears throat> the way i see it it is most likely that because you are going to sitting on all that you have accomplished this far, okay, maybe you are going to feel yourself very comfortable and uh, maybe you would like to have a, a moment of, of respite, let's say, a, a moment of where you can actually um, enjoy what you have achieved this far. And that moment that you do take as a, um, as a break, should I say, is going only to cloud your judgment for the looming change on the horizon, as I said at the start of the reading. So that change is rather impending, meaning that you cannot influence it uh, in a term of is it going to happen or not going to happen. But what you can do is to prepare yourself for it. So that's why you need to recognize that your positions needs to be changed or rather like, uh, you know, the way how you take on things and how you take on life, how you take on your marriage, for example, how you take on your relationship or <clears throat> how you take on your career needs to be changed. Uh, the accompanied card here that is going to be the page of swords formation. It is a active supporters once again, what we have here and uh, <clears throat> the situation will require your original thinking meaning that you have only accomplished only one part of the uh, of the undertaking but there are still more versions of it i don't know how to describe it so um if i have to give you an example here you know let's say uh, i'm sorry for the example really but it's the first thing that comes to my mind so let's say that um I, I will not give you as an example, but let's say that that girl catches up this guy, which is very rich. So the girl catches the guy because of its money, all right? But what the girl doesn't understand is that she also can be happy with the guy. It could be as well that the guy catches up that girl with that has a lot of money and the guy catches up the girl because of the money. But what the guy doesn't understand is that if he pushes up a little bit the, uh, the situation, you know, if he makes a certain effort and challenge him, himself, he can also be happy in there and lucrative as well. So uh, what I'm trying to say is that there is still a potential into your endeavors here to for unexplored yet and you need to challenge yourself in order to explore it and accomplishing it. But like I said, once again, not before you actually secure your current positions. And um, <clears throat> that will be important because when the change come around, guys, it will, be probably, it will probably involve something completely different and you will not have time anymore, you know, to unfold completely uh, your current uh, endeavors either into a, a career or either into a, a relationship. So the page of cups comes as a positive aspect and I don't think that this is a person into your reading. It is more like the um, the time needed, you know, the borrowed time you are to have in order to make your preparations. Now the page as a positive aspect points that you are to um, be very objective when it comes to how you stand into your marriage, how you stand into your relationship, uh, how you stand into your social circle, but also what you can accomplish. And that will allow you um, to readopt your positions, uh, mainly uh, adopt them in a certain way that when the change come around, uh, you are going to be fully prepared to take on the opportunity thus presented. The accompanied card here with the page that is going to be uh, the Empress. 
so it seems that you will start building up a comfort zone everything like i said is going to go according to uh, your expectations and according to your plan and whatever uh, events and activities are to present to you uh, in this week are gonna they are going to be a, a confirmation guys that what is to happen it is for the greater good it is for your good it is to make you happy it is to make you rich for example or to make you very very comfortable so everything that uh, the, the processes that are to um, be uh, manifested throughout the week even though they may be a bit uncomfortable at the start because you have to challenge yourself uh, you know in a certain way ultimately will have that um, outcome of placing you in a very nourishing and as well um, comfortable and happy position so guidance wise we do have the knight of swords and what the card says here is that you gotta be courageous all right all right push your limits also the card asks you to not stall any kind of dilemma type of situations but rather consult yourself with your emotions because although the knight is a, a knight of swords and is prone to make up a, a decision with the snap of its fingers all right the knight always consults his thoughts with his emotions therefore it doesn't do anything that they don't like okay and also the card advise you to um well i don't know this is more like a quality all right but if you can um clinch more to your keen mind and keen perception that will be for the best and uh, the final card here which falls as a catalyst to the night that will be the king of wands and uh, the formation is active uh, friends that we have so uh, these decisions that you are to make with the snap of your fingers are going to be directed uh, toward an uh, idea of yours or agenda of yours to be transformed into a, a very very powerful actions additionally to that it's uh, these cards are urging you to enjoy life so if you have a chance throughout the week to participate into exhilarating activities exciting activities you definitely have to do so you know it's going to ease your emotional pain should you have one and uh, as well it's going to boost your confidence and um how do you say it a uh, positive attitude but that being said capricorn this was your weekly tarot reading for june 17 to june 23rd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh we are going to see each other around until then bye